What is going on people? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Tomorrow, bolt on the way, win this, we are absolutely flying. Let's get on the coach, head up north, and let's rock and roll. Just stopped off at the services. I've actually brought my food with me though. A lot of the boys are getting off the coach now. I'll probably get a few snacks. What we got here, sea bass, rice. It's actually wild rice. A little bit of kale. I was getting a bit peckish on the way down, I'm not gonna lie, and I've actually, uh, I actually got on this organic Biona rye bread. Tastes terrible, but hopefully it's gonna fuel me well for tomorrow. Come for the orange Luca as well. Come on, Bosby. You said we win tomorrow, we're gonna to treat ourselves to an orange Luco after the game. If you score, I keep a clean sheet, we'll have one of these. You getting a monster munch as well, yeah? Nah, you're off that now. That is an elite snack. Elite snack. <laughs> Look at this guy, what bro. What is it? Now that's the prawn pokey, bro. Yeah, I don't know what the other one is, bro. Oh, no, they haven't got it. Salmon poke bowl from Waitrose. Top tier. You need a healthy, quick meal. You can't go wrong. Alice knows about it. That's £14. What New protein things, fucking yeah. AKA Jaffa cake. One thing that I've noticed during my time playing football is the hotel rooms up north, way shabbier than the ones down south. I don't know why it is, sorry if I've offended anyone, but it is a fact. The ones in London are just nicer. It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm not gonna be in here for too long. It's already seven o'clock now, and gonna get some food. That coach journey, absolutely minging by the way. So much traffic, it took us five and a half hours. So everyone's starving. I'll probably get back in here, do a bit of stretching, a bit of yoga, stop myself from stiffening up, and settle in for the night. Initiation <laughs> time, Joshy. I ain't doing it today. You are? No. You gotta do it, Josh. Nah. People wanna see it. Cause you know what? Jack Wakely said he paid. I'd rather pay. I ain't singing. No, in the middle of this. That's poor energy. No, it's like 50 quid. 50 quid? What? Gee, he, he, he can't pay, can he, Gee? He's got to do an exchange. He's a guy that's played in the Prem, the champ. That's unacceptable, Josh. He wants to pay, he doesn't want to do his initiation. Everyone does it. It's literally like 20 seconds. I've never seen anything like it. The young lads nowadays, no initiations anymore. If Akifem was still here, he'd never get away with that. But to be fair, do you know what I was saying to one of the boys down there that I don't, I do feel like initiations, getting a young lad to stand up on a chair and sing in front of all the boys, it's, it's one of them, you do, I do feel bad personally watching it because I know how uncomfortable some of the young lads can feel and it's kind of like you're just putting them up there for your own satisfaction really aren't you, it's never nice, it's never nice, but the game's changing anyway. I'm just about to make myself a little electrolyte drink, I'll put in two Dyrolite tablets into about 600 millilitres of water or so, and start sipping on this the night before the game, just to make sure that I'm, um, I'm not gonna get cramped tomorrow and I'm gonna be able to perform at optimal levels. But anyway, new Premier League season starts tomorrow, which only means one thing, fantasy football is back. Taffa Wallies, come on the boys, we've got it in the bag this year. I actually had a really good season last year. I came second in most of my leagues, won a little bit of money. So do you know what I thought? Let me set up my own league that we can all do this season. I know everyone loves a bit of fantasy football. There's gonna be prizes for first, second and third place. It's free to join. And yeah, if you fancy yourself, get in. I'll leave the, uh, the code for the league now on the screen. You can have a quick look at my team for game week one. I'm actually just waiting for the Arsenal game to start. I've got Jesus up front. Who hasn't got Jesus? Let's see what happens. And talking of prizes, I still haven't picked a winner for the matchday shirt and the boots that I wore all last season, the matchday shirt from Wembley. So stay tuned. After the game tomorrow, I'm just going to get one of the boys on the coach to scroll down the comments, stop the screen at random, and we'll see who wins. 
Hopefully, it's you. Oh! Come on, the boys. Who is it? Oh, no. I had him in my team until the last minute as well. I swapped him for Rashford. Bit of sweet. Slept like a baby last night. I thought fresh as a day today, mate. Had about ten and a half hours sleep. Must be knackered. Um, these boys today in Bolton, they're gonna be good. Last year, I think after January, they were the third most informed side in the league, and they pretty much kept their whole squad from last season, and also added a few more on top of that. So they're gonna be, they're gonna be good. It's their first home game in the year. They're gonna have twenty-one thousand fans there. Big club, aren't they? So. They're going to be going for it this year and we've just got to be at it. Breakfast done. I actually need to find a chef that's going to cook our pretty much meal later because I've actually brought my own rice with me. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to eat the rice or the carbs they're going to give us here. So I'm hoping you can whip this up. Got a little bit of treatment from the physios this morning on my back and my hips especially i'm a little bit stiff after doing a lot of training this week now just a final few touches before the game just watching last little bits and pieces on bolton's front men very lively they've got an out and out runner who's a pest will hound you down all day can't dwell on the ball around him can't take any risks the other one is more of like a 10 winger a little bit tricky intricate so yeah, we're gonna have our hands full today, and they play. They do also play a number ten behind the front too. So for us at the back, it's gonna be a battle. Scotty, Chef, how are you? What's going on, man? Good, good. Well, that was terrible. Do you know what? There's not been too many times here where after a game, I've come off the pitch thinking we deserved absolutely nothing. But today, we were miles off it. We didn't deserve anything. We didn't win the fight. We didn't win our individual battles. Technically, they were better than us today. Defensively, very unlike us to concede three goals. And the manner of the goals, yeah, un uncharacteristic considering we're usually so defensively solid. It kind of leaves you scratching your head a little bit, especially after the way we started the season. 3-0 win against Burton on fire, to then go and lose 3-0. It's not a good look, especially against a promotion rival. So, yeah, I'm not in a good mood. I've got to try and quickly get over it. I've had a lot of you guys ask me before to analyse my games. And I thought, do you know what? It would be easy to analyse a game after a win. Why not? Analyzed the game a little bit after a loss, so I thought I'd run you through the goals, show you how we conceded, what went wrong, and what we could have done better because the goals that we did concede today were a bit shambolic. So let me run you through what we could have done better. All right, so their first goal, you can briefly see there the keeper Trafford bowling it out wide. He just caught it from one of our set pieces, right? And now you can see all the red shirts trying to recover back from a set piece to not get countered on. If you pause it there, you can actually see one, two, three, four, seven red shirts against four Bolton players. Now we do this a hundred times in training, 99 times out of a hundred, we're not conceding. But look at our body shapes. All of us are too fixated on the ball and we're not aware of Dempsey just hovering on the edge of the box 
waiting for the little cutback from their right wing back. And as it happens, decent touch of his left foot and a nice sharp left foot finish. I think here, as we're running back, if we can communicate better, I've had a little look over my shoulder. I've had a little point there at Dempsey, but I don't know if I got the message to across to anyone quick enough, pick him up. And as you can see, he's got too much space and time in the box. So easily avoidable, easily avoidable. So frustrating watching that back, honestly, because it's such, such, a, such a soft goal to concede. Anyway, second goal. So we're in control possession of the ball and we actually lose it pretty cheaply. And now this is the problem. When you play expansive attacking football, if you give the ball away cheaply, you're always in danger of conceding a chance. We're in possession of the ball. We've, we've got it with our right back here and we've got our left back high and wide on the other side because we wanted to, you know, we wanted to stick it on bowl and go for it. Um, usually, there'll be games where when we've got it on one side of uh, the pitch, the other fullback comes around and makes it narrow, but we try to be a little bit more expansive this game. And as you can see, the number 17 picks it up with space in the middle of our pitch. Now, I've tried to run a Bakayoko here, but I haven't realised how much of a gap I'm leaving in the middle of the pitch for their centre mid to run into. If I had a little look over my left shoulder, I probably could have half-tracked Bakayoko's run into the channel, kind of encouraged that a little bit more than allowing so much space to open up in the middle of the pitch and their centre mid Morley to run into. I think what I've done here, I think it would have been the lesser of two evils if I encouraged the ball down into the channel and just defended that against Bakayoko. But I don't know if subconsciously I thought the, our left back may be more narrow because that's how we usually play. And look, we just got caught out on this occasion and he actually slots it home really well to be fair but it was avoidable it was avoidable so third goal right we're not set up well enough from the throw and he throws it into the striker's feet way too easily he gets it back he gets it back again and then he's driving inside similar sort of thing to the second goal as a defensive unit we're not narrow enough and if you're ever in doubt when you're playing in defense Get narrow, force force the other team wide and say, you know what, look, we'll defend the cross. You ain't you ain't coming through us. You can try and go around us, but you see here how he's able to play that ball in between our defence. Once again, it's a it's a late run from midfield, really, really well timed run. But if we were narrower as a back four. It could have been easily avoided. I think what I could have done is set us up quicker and better from their throwing, and we would have been able to stop it at source when we're kind of all over the place after the throwings come in. And yeah, it's actually a decent finish from him. I didn't realise he slotted it away of the outside of his foot, but so avoidable, so avoidable. On another day, that just gets dealt with from the throwing. But look. It was an off day. These things happen in football. We just got to dust ourselves down. Make sure we respond in the right way next week. Anyway, the giveaway. Now, I know I said that I was going to get one of the boys on a coach to pick out a winner, but you can imagine what it was like on a coach after a 3-0 loss. The environment wasn't great. People were just keeping themselves to themselves. The vibe wasn't good. So, I'm going to do it myself. Now, 1500 comments really 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 appreciate all the support from everyone on this channel is proper mad that is 1500 comments i actually said to myself do you know what there's too many people missing out here i'm gonna do another giveaway now the winner of this one is getting the shirt and the boots and we can call this a sort of consolation second place prize at wembley i actually wore a shirt in the first half and a shirt in the second half. Now, I was going to keep the second half shirt for memories, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give it away to someone else. So, for a chance in winning this giveaway, same thing. All you got to do 
leave a comment down below make sure you're subscribed and you got a chance in winning i've got all of the comments up here right so i'm not going to look i'm just going to close my eyes keep scrolling up and down and whoever it lands on wins here we go the bosh big moment who is Ryan Farouk? I'm size 12. You're buzzing, mate. Listen, hit me up on Instagram. That's my Insta. If you haven't got Insta, just reply to your YouTube comment. Leave me your details and I'll send them your way. Anyway, guys, I'll be doing loads more giveaways throughout the season. So if you're not subscribed, now's the time to do so. Also, do me a favor, turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And... I'll see you in the next one.